to get started, I'm going to be taking this matte bone color shade and I'm going to be putting this on top of my eye primer. I have been doing this a lot recently. I just like it to help to set my eyeshadow base. Plus, when I put eyeshadows on top of this, they just blend out so much easier. Then I'm taking this cool toned, taupey, grayish color. Very, very cool toned. I absolutely love how this color um, worked with this look. It's just a transition shade. So I'm just picking this up with my Morphe brush and I'm just focusing this up on my crease, just blending it back and forth in windshield wiper motions, just making sure um, I'm going back and forth because this is going to be the top of the color that you're really going to see fade out. And then I'm going in with this beautiful cobalt blue color. And I'm picking this up on a very small, dense um, brush by Morphe. All the brushes I use will be listed in the description box below. But I love this brush for or to really get a nice defined crease color. This color is so pigmented and so blendable. I was really, really surprised with how great the eyeshadow quality of this palette was. And it makes me want to play with more of Milani's palettes. But as you guys can see, I'm kind of just mapping out an outer V color or a more outer V shape. And then I'm going back in and blending it out. I did cut out a lot of the blending because I was literally just doing like five minutes of straight blending. So make sure you guys take your time with this look because we are going straight from a transition color to a blue color. You really want to make sure it is all blended out nicely. And then to deepen it up a little bit, I am picking up this matte black color. It is super black and I really love it. And I'm just putting this really in my outer corner, just like really um, nice and dense. I'm not fanning it out too much, but pretty much just to deepen it a little bit. And then I just wanted, to, wanted you guys to see that part because it does look a little bit messy. And at the, even myself, I was like, uh, I don't know how this is going to turn out. But once you blend it out and you clean it up like how I am right here with the makeup wipe, it just ends up looking so beautiful. So then I'm taking this silver color and I'm really sorry I got out of the clip again. I know I have to pay attention more to that. But I'm just putting that silver color on my lid and overlapping the silver and the blue. And I don't want to leave it just like this because it doesn't look blended. You know, you guys can see that demarcation line. So then I'm going in with our um, more darker gray smoky color. And I'm really putting that on the center of the silver and the blue because that is going to make everything just transition so much more better. And you guys can already see the difference in this look. All I'm doing here is taking a big, clean, fluffy brush with no product on it and really diffusing the edges of this look because I don't want it to look too harsh or like have such a straight edge. And then I'm taking that matte color right there, putting that as my brow bone highlight. Then I'm going to do some wings liner and then I'm applying my House of Lashes in Iconic. These are amazing lashes. And so then you guys can see how it's looking. I really love it. Um, I did not show my foundation routine. I'm going to be using the Balm blush in the color Swiss Dot, followed by my The Balm Mary Luminizer. All of these clips did not come out the way I wanted to, so I'm really sorry. I cannot show you guys them. They came out really blurry. I have no idea why. But here, um, I decided just to throw this in there so that way you guys can at least look at the color. It's Max Lipstick in Peach Stock, and then I went over it with Max lip liner in a whirl and then I used a gloss by Milani for the first time and I was like obsessed with it all day long I love that lip gloss that I used all the products that I used will be listed down below I'm really sorry that this video was only about the eyes but I will leave all my face products everything that I'm wearing on my face in the description box down below so make sure you guys check that out again I cannot believe that my camera was focusing on the lipsticks behind me and not on my face, but it's fine. I promise you my next tutorials will be so much better. And if you guys want to see a full foundation routine and stuff like that, let me know in the comments down below. But this is the end of the eye look. I really hope you guys enjoyed watching. I love how this look came out. It was super simple and easy. Not a lot of steps, but just make sure you are blending everything out. So thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I will talk to you guys all in my next video. Bye!